I kind of fucked up my whole day. I'm not good at getting things done. Why can't I be accomplished? Why am I so ADHD? You know, those are all things that I have said to myself in my life. But here we go, but here we go. What up, you guys? I'm Kirsten. Welcome to Kirsten Naturally. I'm gonna be spending the day with you in this little room. Uh, I'm doing a lot of reading today and I'm doing a lot of self-improvement today. And I thought, what day is better than today to do a more like informal vlog style video where I take you guys along with me. I'm learning a bunch in this book about how to be more productive and how to be more on top of your passion and your vision for your life and how to actually be like going after that on a daily basis. So I thought, let's just go ahead and make this like an impromptu hangout session where we can learn together. And so I'm diving right in. I've got a bunch of different things that I'm gonna be reading today and I'm just gonna read right from the book to y'all, little parts that I love and share with you guys some new routines that I might be putting into my day-to-day -day life routine. How many more times can you say routine? I don't know. Uh, let's get a little dinger on here. I wanna do more impromptu vlog style, like just less scripted, more just us one-on-one -on -one hanging out. So if you like those kinds of videos, let me know down in the comments below and let's go ahead and get started my friend. So I'm on this chapter of how to be a boss called eliminate stress. It says at the end, I love how she basically gives you like a little section that you're supposed to fill out. And I don't like to write in the book so I just put like a sticky note on it. And it says list two things that stressed you out this week and come up with solutions to eliminate them. First thing that stressed me out this week, I put mornings are distracted. And then my solution is, the minute you realize that you're distracted, just do one important thing immediately. Don't try to get everything right, just do one thing now. So that's gonna be my solution because I can get so overwhelmed with like literally snowballing this whole idea of like, oh my God, I up my morning already, I up my day already. Like how did I make all these plans to do X, Y, and Z and I haven't done them yet. Instead of letting that snowball effect happen, I'm just letting myself go ahead and say, okay, one thing. I've talked a little bit about that before about like, you know, on more of a macro scale on becoming the person you wanna be and how to have confidence, start doing one thing that you're passionate about to start gaining some confidence. So I'm trying to apply this in several aspects of my life. What is one thing I can do right now when I'm feeling distracted? And for me right now, it's actually reading and getting through it, not just opening the book and looking at it and getting distracted, coming up with other things I need to do. Like, oh, I need to go get a coffee. Oh, I need to like grab a snack real quick. Be like, just stop. Okay, I need to sit down. I need to read this book. Is there anything you could do today or any time that you start to feel stressed that you could do to just eliminate that stress by doing one little thing? Okay. So so I added a few more little cards here. She said I'm gonna do two, but I went and did three overachiever. So the first one that we talked about was my mornings are distracted. The second one I wrote was realizing I haven't eaten or drank water. Simple solution is make yourself drink water before you wash your face in the morning because I'm really good at waking up and getting like cleaning my face and getting the shower and stuff. So if I just attach a good habit to that, that will help me a lot. Um, so I'm just attaching something like drinking water to something I already am really good at doing, like washing my body with water. Make yourself breakfast the night before. So whether it just be like overnight oats or putting out an apple and some almonds or just sitting bread out onto my kitchen island with like nut butter and you know, jelly. I don't know, whatever I can do to go ahead and jumpstart that instead of having to make the decision when I come downstairs of what am I gonna eat in the morning? Just going ahead and kind of simplifying it making one step easier so that I don't look back on the day later and say, damn it, I didn't eat breakfast and it's 4 p.m., which has been happening lately. Last one, taking too long to get ready in the morning. So I put just pick out an outfit the night before, which helps me so much. I don't know how I could spend as long as I do in the morning deciding what the f to put on my body, but for some reason it takes me so long. So picking out the outfit before I go to sleep or even just picking out two outfits to like pick between, you know how like when you wake up and you're like, actually that outfit does not look like it would be comfortable and I don't wanna put that on. Sometimes I'll give an alternate outfit for myself if I'm like, this will be if you wake up kind of cold and grumpy, a super comfy outfit. These are all the things I'm shitty at. And those are things that annoy me and stress me out. So I wrote some ways to get through those stresses. 
And that's something you should do. Write down like two to three things that stressed you out this week and then just a quick way to get over that, get through that. Instead of just dealing with it, let's find a way to solve the problem. So I'm pretty excited to see what this next chapter holds. Oh, this chapter is good. I love metaphors, so if that's your jam, stick around. This one is so cool. She says, failure doesn't necessarily mean the end of an era or a project. When things don't go the way we anticipate, it's easy to feel like we have to start over, but that's just not always the case. Just because one door has closed, it doesn't mean it can't be knocked down or forced back open. I know the quote goes when one door closes, another opens, but why didn't anyone ever try opening the closed door? I know that that seems a little bit silly sometimes. Metaphors always can seem a little silly if you look at it from a glass half full. I mean, f if you look at it from a glass half empty standpoint. Yeah, see, I'm just so positive I can't even think glass half empty. Why don't we just open the damn door? Whoever said we couldn't just pry the door open or bust it down? You know, it doesn't have to be one and done. For real, when one door closes, another door opens, teaches us that when we fail at something that it's just like, it's okay and that's a failure and something else will come along. But why not also realize that it doesn't have to be a failure? What about trying again? What about opening that door again? What about turning that failure into a success? So I really liked that metaphor. If that's something that could apply to you today, there you go, a little snippet present wrapped up from me to you. Actually, from Lily to me, then to you, indirect present. So I'm gonna keep reading. When I find something else that might be helpful for you guys, I'll pop back in and read it to you. Like a great nanny or a good second grade teacher. That's me. Okay, so something else that I thought was really pertinent to getting things done and making the most out of every day is this balance of not taking yourself too seriously, but also taking yourself seriously. Not taking the day too seriously, but also realizing that it's a really precious thing to have today. Let's say it's already past 3 p.m. and I still haven't gotten through with a lot of the things that I wanna be through with by that time. I have a couple options. I could either be like, wow, this is such a serious thing. I've fucked up the day. I could have gotten so much done and look how much I've already wasted and I can't get this time back. While that's true, it's also important to not take the day so seriously. At any point, you can kind of start over. At any point during the day, you can reset and say, okay, I'm about to start taking this way more seriously. I need to focus, I need to get into gear, I need to get these things done. And it doesn't really actually matter what time that is. And then on the same end of that, take your day seriously too. Don't let every day pass thinking to yourself that eventually you'll get to that thing. Eventually I'll start making YouTube videos. Eventually I'll finish that book. Eventually I'll apply to that other job. Even though I really don't like the one I have now, I'll keep putting up with it. Take your days a little bit more seriously and realize the power of a 24 hour period. You can get a lot of things done. You can change your life in the course of only a few days. It's not as cookie cutter as it used to be. There's a lot you can do in just one week of time. So in that same hand of not taking your day too seriously and not beating yourself up for not having the perfect day, do take your day seriously in the sense of like, stop downplaying your power as a hum uh, human. Stop downplaying your human powers. Um, just stop downplaying the fact that you could actually do something today that builds off of what you were thinking about and then tomorrow when you start your day you'll have something to, to keep building off of and every day you'll just get further and further and further that's the power of a day you know you ever play with legos you know what i'm saying building blocks build one after another make something cool build some for real dude your life is moldable everything is changeable so today could actually be really influential in the storyline of your life if you start taking it a little bit more seriously. Okay, I wanted to show you another really good one. I'm gonna read it right from the book to you, you know what I'm saying? Teacher time. The next time you have an idea, recognize that that idea is your brain baby. And if you parent it well, it will grow up to be a wonderful event, product, or campaign. Your baby can change the world, but first you must make a promise to protect it. You should always welcome feedback and take into account suggestions that may help your baby in a positive way. But if you ever hear that little voice in your head screaming in protest, you should stick to your guns. 
welcome to parenthood. You do have valid ideas, whether it be passion projects, whether it be career ideas, whether it be book ideas, song ideas, YouTube video ideas, recipe ideas, anything that's coming to mind for you, you do have valid ideas. And the thing is, is just like a newborn baby. They are valid and they are definitely able to become a real life human one day. But without the proper nourishment and care and water and love, they're not gonna get there. Just like your newborn little blob idea, it can't grow unless you feed it and nurture it every day. So take that seriously. And when you have an idea that feels like something, treat it like a newborn baby, treat it like a brain baby. And I promise you, it will be up and walking eventually. If you have something that you're passionate about, or you have an idea that you're passionate about in life, putting effort into growing that tiny idea baby into a full grown real life thing that you've created is possible. And it definitely is something that takes day by day effort. So if we think back on what we just talked about with taking your day seriously as a 24 hour segment that you can keep building off of every day, it's pretty easy to see that when you have an idea and you keep working at it and you keep coddling it and feeding it and nurturing it every day, eventually you're gonna have a full grown brain baby that walks and talks and can help sustain you. So understand that these ideas you have in your life actually have some or are valid. So treat today as an important thing. Treat your ideas as important things and learn how to kind of reassess your daily habits based on these new ideas you have so that, you know, in 10 years from now, you can look back and say, damn, look at all the cool things that I've done. Look at this new life I've created for myself all based on just that one idea I had that day. So take your day seriously in the sense of like, seize it, do something with it. Don't just see every day as like, oh, I've got so many of these, like, don't worry. I can just sit around and watch Netflix all day. But also don't take it so seriously that if you mess up a little bit that you just can't get over it and you're like, I fucked up my whole day. I'm just not good at getting things done. Why can't I be accomplished? Why am I so ADHD? You know, those are all things that I have said to myself in my life. And instead of beating myself up, I have to not take things so seriously and realize like, you can just start over. Just pretend you just woke up and start all over again, okay? And then we talked about protecting your brain baby. Protect your brain ideas. Protect these little things that you come up with and stop discrediting them. Of course, every idea can't be a beautiful life vision, but you do have valid ideas. So that's that for you guys. I just wanted to give you guys a look into my day, my brain, and my book that I'm reading. Not only because making YouTube videos has been on my list of to do's, but because it's also something that I can tend to overthink. So I thought, why not just let you into my head and show you what a day in the life of me is, which is trying to better myself by reading, but also trying to like stick to these ideas that we all know deep down. I'm sure a lot of these things I've said, this isn't the first time you've heard stuff like this. It clicks when I say it because you already know it but it's about being reminded of these things. And that's the constant journey I'm on. I'm definitely so, so far from perfect. So far from being the productive master of my passions that I wanna be. But this is how I'm getting there. Reading, talking about it with you guys. And if you're down for that, then I hope that you are subscribed. If you're not already, hit that button, dude. Hit me up in the comments below. I love you guys and I love just being real with you. So if you like videos like this, let me know. I will see you guys next time. Hope that the rest of your day is incredible. Peace out.